Hello and welcome to another bad movie review. Are you ready for war? That's women against rape. That's right, I'm talking about lethal victims. Also known as war. Which is women against rape. Uh, it has a few other names that it tends to pop up by, but it's most commonly called lethal victims these days. Now, th this movie is a um, very interesting film. Uh, my copy is um, from the I Will Dance on Your Grave series. Uh, it's I Will Dance on Your Grave, Lethal Victims. It's also more commonly called Death Blow, A Cry for Vengeance. Or War, A Cry for Vengeance, or some other nonsense. But, um, yeah, this one is... Uh, well, let me just describe the plot. You have to listen and believe, see. The women of war take a hardline stance against alleged rapists. They don't need that pesky justice system. Not when you can go to war. The media doesn't care. The cops are useless. The women of war soon have to resort to vigilante tactics, including kidnapping and branding men. Branding the accused rapists, and eventually escalating to murder. Um, and they do eventually kill an innocent man, which is inevitable with that kind of vigilante justice. Um, this is like a training manual for third wave feminism. Uh, it's all about belief. All, all the, none of these men, of course, are convicted. They're just accused and um, in, in the mental capacity of the 1987 film, um, they don't need a justice system uh, because it's a good old boy network and all the men are out to get the women. It's he said, she said, and, you know, obviously it's just uh, she was asking for it and the way she was dressed. Uh, this... Came out in 87. It was right around the same time as The Accused. I think that came out a little later, actually. But rape at the time was a little different. Uh, it was a lot more of a heavy burden because there wasn't DNA evidence and things like that. But this is an extreme view where all the men are the shady characters and um, the, the few good guys are still treated like shady characters. Um, the women are openly hostile to the men and there's no faith in the justice system because every guy in this has gotten off the hook. So of course they have to go after them with their pseudo martial arts training. Uh, I didn't care for this movie. Honestly, I like Frank Stallone. He's awesome. Jerry Van Dyke was great on coach as a rapist. Not so much. He's kind of rapey. Uh, Martin Landau, good actor. Don Swayze, not a bad actor. So there's some good actors in here, but everybody else is pretty freaking horrible. Uh, there should have been some acting classes. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the girls are pretty, but that doesn't do anything when they're all out to kill men. Uh, you only see one set of boobs, but you're going to see half a dozen man asses. So get ready for that. And then they're going to get branded with the word rape. Uh, there's some awesome dialogue, like, um, I'll choke you with my cock. I don't know what roosters have to do with this, but it's in there. And then there's this exchange between, uh, one of the, the man love interest guy. Um, with the, one of the women says, we need good cops like you. And he's to hit, which he replies, that's what I used to think. So what you need bad cops now? I don't understand that. So, I mean, this is L.A. There's plenty of uh, shady happenings in the LAPD. They got kind of a reputation for that. But this is this is straight up a training manual for third rate wave feminism. Uh, although they do advocate self-defense and kicking, screaming, biting, uh, you know, even with their crappy martial arts. Um, so I guess that's slightly different since a lot of feminism groups say, uh, you don't need to learn to defend yourself. But yeah, I just, this movie was just so bad. The quality of the film, I've never seen a good print of this movie ever. It's always really dark because the, f the film quality is really low. 
there's a lot of audio problems. Uh, I own two copies of this, and both copies have the exact same problems. There's these weird audio parts where it'll get really staticky and then really loud or really quiet and alternates. The acting is just atrocious. Um, the only thing missing from this movie was a villain called the Patriarchy. Because it's just, it hits every marker. The cops are incompetent. They're not interested in helping the women. They ask, you know, what what you, were you wearing? Did you lead them on? Bullshit like that. Oh, excuse my language. We're not allowed to swear on the internet anymore. Um, it, it's just, And the women are open, like I said, they're openly hostile. So it really takes it in a really weird direction. Because you're supposed to root for these women. But they're running around doing vigilante tactics. And, you know, not giving, like they even hold a guy at gunpoint. And force him to confess, and then like, haha, they'll have to prosecute now. No, because you coerced him under duress to give a confession. He'll tell you he started the Great Chicago Fire if you uh, point a gun at him long enough and start roughing him up. Yeah, of course. So that that's a little ridiculous. Um, the everything about this movie is ridiculous. Um, the martial arts scenes were really, really bad. Uh, the, er, everything was terrible. The overacting, the all men are scumbags theme. Like all the guys are skeevy perverts, except for like two guys in the whole movie. It's just, it was kind of painful to watch. If I had had somebody when I, uh, cause I was just got done watching it five minutes ago. And if I'd had somebody with me to make fun of it, it probably would have been less painful, but I seriously have a really bad headache from watching this. So over the top. And it's got all the things that you expect to hear from um, some SJWs or feminist groups. So if you're a diehard feminist, you probably actually kind of like this movie. If you're not, then it will seem like shameless propaganda. And it'll be just like dozens of YouTube videos you've probably seen. It's just a, it's a bad stereotype. And it, it doesn't work on any level. As a vigilante movie, it fails. Um, cause there's lots of flaws in the logic and they do kill some innocent guy just because he's, they assumed that he was guilty of something. They, they killed him and, and that's, and there's no real consequence for anything. Uh, they just get away with their vigilante tactics, even though the news media has seen them a few times. Yeah. Anyway, I'm done ranting about this movie. It's horrible. You need a good laugh. Check it out. If you're a diehard feminist that hates men, this one's for you. Otherwise, I don't think you're going to like it. It was just boring. The acting was horrendous. And it's a good mockery film, uh, despite having some really good actors like Frank Stallone, who I have, a you know, he's one of those guys that he's overshadowed by his brother, just like Don Swayze. Uh, Martin Landau is a uh, well-known quality actor and Jerry Van Dyke. Um, he's only in it for a brief period, but he's a good actor too. Um, if you're old enough to remember the TV series coach where he's the bungling idiot, this movie will change your perspective of him. Now he looks all skeevy and rapey, but yeah. Um, it's, it's a good sit down and make fun of a movie, but don't watch it alone or it'll be really just boring and frustrating. So that's it for today. Um, I'll let you know what I watch tomorrow. In the meantime, if you haven't watched my other, uh, listened to my other reviews, please do so, and I'll see you next time.